Hello everyone, this is Phoenix Animator. Hi, I'm Froggy Lumpy. Oh, wait. Um. Where are you, Froggy? I'm a disembodied voice. <gasps> what? <laughs> Am I hearing a voice in my head? Probably, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, we have a problem. We do. I have a very, very, very bad problem. We... You went to get on your computer, and it was not on. Which is not good. No, and it won't come on either. Um, at first we thought, because we have had a bit of problems with the fan, uh, we thought that was all it was. And now we know that it's not. Um, we now think it's the power supply. Yep. We, we can't get the computer on at all now. So we're going to uh, fix it, but the problem is it's the weekend um, and because of the unique situation that we actually have uh, in this setup, we have to order this part um, and maybe a couple of other parts. So it's going to be a couple of days before we do a video again. Unfortunately. Um, I figured since that happened and I've been having this idea that I've been wanting to do but as you can see it takes a lot of capacitor banks and I really didn't want to make this many capacitor banks for this idea to not work so I wanted to go ahead and since we since we had the computer issue I wanted to go ahead and just kind of come into this creative mode and build this capacitor bank big reactor type looking thing I was about to ask why you just took all those down, uh, because you decided to make it bigger, so you're yes. increasing its size. Exactly. So Oops. you're making a capacitor bank... Big reactor. Big reactor. Nope, that's not sort of. One more. There we go. In other words, you're making it look like a big reactor, Exactly. Sort of. Um. That's the idea that I had for it. Oops. And since capacitor banks all flow together... All you have to do is have one inroad, and all of them will fill up. Exactly. Oh. It's gonna be an all nice, big, huge, big reactor type capacitor bank. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. Now the other thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need some. Um, we're gonna need need our magma generators, magmatic mag, magmatic generators. I don't actually need that many because. There. And these guys are going to go here and here and here. And we're going to need some clear glass. Where are you, Tinker's Clear Glass? That's environmental glass. There you are. There we go. Tinker Clear Glass. <laughs> This is funny looking. <laughs> oh, I like this though. I just was like I said, we this takes so much materials that I didn't want to actually fly. There we go. I didn't want to try to make this in our world and then it not work. Because this is a lot of materials to be Wasting. Wasting, exactly. Yeah. And then we're gonna come over here. Why aren't you using that builder's wand? I should be, shouldn't I? Yes, that would make this a be. lot easier. But I didn't. And now we're going to get fire water. Fire water. Uh, it's only there we go. Hup. And this is gonna be our fuel! <laughs> And then we need some crucibles. There we go. And we need a cobble gen. Oh, my textures aren't loaded properly. That's okay. It's a weird looking cobble gen. Hold on, let me fix these textures. Be back right back. There we go. Now I'm all better. You have no lights here, so yeah. Um, yeah, I don't want it to be. Um, so you got your cobblestone generator. Yep. 
two cobblestone generators, and then we're going to need some item conduit. Item conduit. That's going to go there, 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 and there, 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 there. And then you will be always active. You will be always active. You're going to be insert, 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 insert. And the final one, insert. Okay, now I need fluid tanks. There we go, and then we go in here and we set each of these guys to pull and to push. And then these middle ones, we're going to have it pull from both sides. And again, push out the bottom. And of course, you're pulling from the cobblestone. From the crucibles. Correct. I'm pulling from the crucibles. And you're, then you're pushing the lava out into the magmatic generator. Correct. So, pull, oops, forgot to set that guy, and push. And how are you moving that around? I, I am clicking, I'm right, right here, I'm left clicking to drag in this around like this, and then I right click to change the, the facing. Right. And then I just double click for the pull. Push. But to, to change the facing, you hold the left click button so it can move around so that you can get to the correct angle that you're looking for. Correct. There we go. Now. All right, so this guy is. Don't they all need buckets? Or not. No, they will no, they auto. Need... They'll just push it in because these don't take buckets. Right. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking of the other setup. There we go. So now the question is, how full? Okay. So it is filling up. So let's. Is there anything in the capacitor banks yet? Uh. Yeah. There's stuff. Oh wow. That's filling up. Let's finish up our big reactor look. <laughs> this is funny and cool. And, and again, not you don't have the builders lot. So that is really neat. That uh... there we go. And then it should catch up. And start pulling lava into all of the, the thingies. That was one of the things I was checking, was how full this was getting, if it was keeping up with it. So once this gets to full, it will start putting the lava in there, and that will start be able to start pulling as well. And those guys will be able to go, because those aren't actually going right now. Okay, so let's give it a minute and see if that actually works, and then we... Uh... As you can see, this is a you know obviously not our world. Yeah. Um, that's the reason why um, he decided to do this because exactly. we had to get, come into a brand new world because my computer is where the land world is, so we're gonna lose everything if we don't get this computer back up. Ah, so. we'll get it back up. Um, it's just going to yeah, be a little bit, will. so we're going to have a couple of days where we don't have, where we uh, we don't have those either of those worlds going at the moment. But we'll uh, we'll figure something for these coming days. Okay, so I want to try one other thing real quick. Uh, we're gonna break these guys. 
So this is at, that was, the fire water is at a rate of eight. Right. Something you can build up to eventually is switching it for awakened draconium blocks. Oh, good grief. I know, That's right? Expensive. Super expensive. But it makes it at a rate of 15. So it's almost duplicate of what it was doing before. So we'll get rid of these guys. Place our draconium blocks here. And then these. Now to go even faster. There we go. And how do we get out of here? I'm stuck. <laughs> there it is. And I broke one of these guys, so let's remake it and set it back up. There we go. Okay, so let's go to the side and look at what. So that is a lot of materials for very little RF. You end up with that little setup there, and you're only getting four. four oh, these two aren't even on. Oh, okay. You're only getting 475, so yeah. Do you know if those are? Okay, that one is. Yeah, these are these back ones are on. Is the, and the middle ones are on. But these and front those two, are, two not. are. Is it because of an issue or? Nope, it's just not getting the lava. Yet. Okay. But see, that's why I wanted to test this. Because that is not, even though that looks cool, I really like that look. Um, that is not really, but now it's not making any RF. That's because there's no lava. It already used it all. The lava's not making fast enough to fill it up. So that... No? Okay, that's... There it goes. Yeah. Weird. That is weird. But it's not making a lot of RF. Right, you're only getting 475 RF per tick. And, and sometimes, sometimes you're not getting anything. So it's a cool look to it. But it is not but, worth making. And that's another reason why yeah. I wanted to test this. Because go through all this to make it and then it doesn't work? Wouldn't that? I'd be a little upset. So. Definitely. Anyways. So if you've already got the power, then you could end up putting your your capacitors in a form shape. I don't know, I might give somebody an idea on, you know, yep. a little creative inspiration there, maybe. Uh, no creative as in, not creative mode. Yeah, no. Creative as in, create something. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, because obviously in a real world, you'd do this in regular mode, not in creative mode. Yep. So, we will be back as soon as possible. And in the meantime, we'll try to come up with something. Exactly. Thanks ever so much, and we are very sorry. We hope that you'll be patient with us mm -hmm. and stick with us. Thank you so much. I'm Froggy Lumpy. I'm Phoenix Animator. Hope you enjoyed this segment. From Phoenix and the Disembodied Voice. <laughs> <laughs> bye! Froggy Lumpy, bye-bye. See you all later.